Hello and welcome back to the Overview series. This is episode 2 where we're going to briefly discuss the Razor Line imprint. Now the Razor Line imprint was a line of comics produced by Marvel Comics. There were four titles on the Razor Line roster and they featured characters created by horror author Clive Barker who was real big in the late 80s early 90s. Although Clive Barker's works including the Hellraiser spin-off stories were published by Marvel around this time, the Razor Line only had four titles. They all lasted less than a year. There were other books produced, like I said, with Clive Barker's name that were not associated with the Razorline series. These books were introduced in a special preview book called Razorline The First Cut, Issue 1, even though there was no Issue 2. The Razorline titles included Ecto Kid, which ran for 9 issues, Saint Sinner, which ran for 7 issues, Hokum and Hex, which ran for 9 issues, and Hyperkind, which ran for 9 issues. Hokum and Hex and Hyperkind were billed as more superhero-oriented stories, while Ecto Kid and Saint Sinner were intended to be horror themed. In 1994, two one-shots were released. They were called Ecto Kid Unleashed and Hyperkind Unleashed. Both were one issue and both books featured short stories in addition to a comic book. Ecto Kid Unleashed had a comic book of Ecto Kid and a prose story of Saint Sinner. Just like Hyperkind Unleashed issue one had a comic book story about the Hyperkind and a short story about Hokum and Hex. The Razorline universe was designated as Earth 45828 in the 2005 official handbook of the Marvel Universe appendix of alternate realities or alternate universes. So it is technically part of the main Marvel universe as a, a whole. It's just an alternate universe that nobody's really touched on since. It never really caught on and the characters have just sort of faded into obscurity. For Clive Barker fans, this might be a lost find. So we're going to look at all four titles and review each individual one. But that's it for the overview. As always, thank you so much for listening and we hope to see you on the next one.